If I order today, will it ship today? Uh, actually, that's a very good question. Uh, that was Dennis. Yes, your order will ship out today. I know that the website says uh, that it won't ship out till Tuesday, obviously because of Veterans Day. That's not our doing. That is just the federal holidays that are going on right now. But if you order today on Saturday and we need to fix that on the website, we're working on it, guys. That coding is crazy. But if you order today, I think your orders are going to ship out today. More than likely, I think we have a couple of people there at Bravo that are fulfilling orders uh, this Saturday. I don't know if this is going to happen on every Saturday, but it is definitely going to happen this Saturday. We're probably going to end up doing uh, fulfilling orders. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? What happened? Oh, let me get it back. Sorry, guys. What happened here? Oh, I didn't even touch anything. Dude, I just gave away like important information. <laughs> what was that? Let me see lab order all right that's all I'm gonna say. um sorry about that guys i don't know what was on there it's, it's nothing man it's an old old paper um everybody gets lab done right uh, <laughs> you, you guys are gonna you guys are gonna know that i am i'm diabetic maybe you guys can diagnose it for me man i don't know anyways guys Go check it out, Bravo Concealment. Yes, today, if you order today, it's going to ship out today. It's a Saturday. I know we're going to see if we can get guys to fulfill orders on Saturdays because a lot of you guys, um, you know, want your orders to ship out. Now, the problem is that it's Veterans Day on Monday. That's, that's guys, if we could ship on Monday, we'd ship on Monday. My apologies on Veterans Day. It is what it is. It's a federal holiday. The post office doesn't work. FedEx and all those guys are, they're not out delivering mail and they're not out collecting mail. So my apologies on that, guys. But yes, if you order today on the 9th of November, it will ship out today. Yeah, so that's a very good question, guys. Um, or I think it was Dennis. Um, good question. Uh, will your new paddle style clips hug the body as close as the normal belt clips? Yes, they do, Fox. Um, they actually work very well. I have them right here. I have them on one of my Glock 19s. This is the paddle. This is what uh, he's talking about, the paddle style uh, belt loops that uh, we offer on our website. They hug very nice. If you can see the curvature on them, I mean, this, this design is awesome, guys. So the curvature is there to uh, make sure that uh, it fits the curvature of your body. So it really does hug it in very nice and tight. Most paddle attachment or most paddle holsters uh, have the paddle design right here. And what happens with that is that it, it creates a space between the gun and yourself. On these, we designed it to where the paddle is on the outside of the gun. If you can see the design right, obviously this is the gun and the paddles are on the outside. So it pushes the gun up against your body. The only thing you're adding to the width between the gun and yourself is the width of this polymer. In the Kydex, it's obviously a 0.8 and then the polymer as well, it's a 0.8. So it's a point, I'm sorry, 0 0.08 of an inch. That's all you're adding, guys. That's all you're adding to the distance between your gun and your belt. A lot of these holsters are very thick and, uh, you know, they uh, they add a lot of width. And you may think, whoa, what's a quarter of an inch? A quarter of an inch goes a long way, guys. I'm telling you, especially when you're sticking this inside the waistband, like our torsion gun holsters, a quarter of an inch is a lot, man. You put it on both sides, you're already looking at half an inch. Now, I don't know if there's a holster out there that's a quarter of an inch on each side. But even if you double that up, that's a quarter of an inch. You put these, this is an eighth of an inch. So that's one sixteen. Uh, that's a 0.16 of an inch. It's nowhere even close to a quarter of an inch. Guys, so uh, to make a long story short, yeah, Fox, great question. They do hug the body. Try them out, man, for 30 days. Go take them out to the range. Try them out. You're going to Walmart. Put them on. Try them out. If you don't like them, send them back for a full refund. But yes, to answer the question, they work very similar to the standard belt loops. Very similar. You need to try it out. It's, it's just a really, really good design um, and uh, that we came up with. It's an awesome product. Uh, right now, they're about 15 bucks. Uh, you can add them to your holster uh, as, you're, as you're purchasing uh, your product on the product page. And um, that's it, man. It's, uh, you know, you'll have them. These ship out same day as well. So if you place an order before 2 p.m. Central Time, they ship out that same day. So you can get a holster. You can get this set up depending on what you choose for shipping. But if you go free, just, uh, just free mail, uh, snail mail, you're, you'll probably get it in five days or so, just depending where you live. But if you choose, um, you know, the priority or even the FedEx, you can get it in two days, man. So yeah, go check it out at Bravo, man. Awesome deals going on right now. That's a great question. Uh, they also fit on the mag pouch. I use this all the time. You know, it's very important to carry uh, an extra mag, uh, you know, because, you know, a lot of people think, well, 
you know, I got a Glock 19. Where, when am I going to need, you know, 30 rounds? You're right. You may not, but you know, there's a lot of, um, you know, uh, malfunction, malfunctions that can happen when you're carrying a gun, when you're shooting that can only be cleared by basically dumping your mag and putting a new one in. So, um, you know, like double feeds and stuff like that. And I know guys that there's guys out there that can clear double feed without dumping a mag. I get that. I understand that, but super important to carry uh, an extra mag, especially if you're going with something small, like, you know, a subcompact that only carries, you know, six, seven rounds or whatever it is. Well, the new subcompacts are carrying up to 10, 12 rounds, but um, it's, it's important to carry an extra mag. And if you put these paddle attachments on the mag carrier, you can do it on the single or the double mag carrier. Guys, it's awesome, man. You can put this mag on and take it off. The hardest thing about putting on a mag is that you have to undo your belt all the way because you're mad if you're if you're a right-handed shooter your mag sits on the left side so your belt has to come all the way if you thread your belt like a normal human being does <laughs> if you don't then <laughs> if you thread your belt the other way then 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 you're good but to put on a gun holster if you're right-handed you know you can you you take off your belt you it'll it'll go through two belt loops on your pants maybe one and you're ready to rock on this you have to go all the way so with the paddle attachments you just slip it on you're ready to rock you get home you take it off i mean this thing you don't even feel it on you it's so small you don't even feel it on you guys go check them out at bravo everything same day shipping man if ordered uh before 2 p.m central time